are putting foundations in proper place. Oh yes. We are destroying some foundations oh, yes. and removing some wicked foundations oh, yes. so that what God wants to put upon you or to build upon you must be built. You see, you cannot talk about foundation without first digging the foundation, laying the foundation, building on the foundation. Salvation is not an excuse of deliverance. Rather, it is a platform for deliverance. When God saves you, when you are saved, it does not mean you don't need anything spiritually to be aligned. In fact, you have come to Mount Zion, a place of lightnings and thunders and a number of angels you cannot count. Where God is shaking so that all the things which are not permanent must be removed. So this is the reason why we come in as the shaking of God and shake so that everything that is not godly must be removed out of your life. There's one foundation which is Jesus as a foundation and another foundation which is foundations which is the destroyed foundations. Now, why are we putting them as two? Because Jesus cannot be destroyed. So he is not in the category of the destroyed foundations. But there are foundations which are destroyed and there is a solid foundation which cannot be destroyed, which is Jesus Christ. Foundations are being destroyed. No any other name greater than the name of Jesus. At this name, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess, every wicked, evil foundation must bow that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father. We are dealing with the things which are not handled for so many, many years. Oh, yes. Somebody say after me, Heavenly Father, thank you today because my case will be handled. In the name of Jesus. Enlightened Christian Gathering Church. Demonstrating God's power and always with you.